when you have downtime, what do you do to drum up that next job? Hmm. Well, I try not to have any downtime at all, um, but it could mean that in that downtime, I'm just doing a lot of like promotional gigs, freelance gigs, things that are going to be bringing in the money, um, production gigs, things like that. So, you know, you're, you're focusing on that, like, okay, but yeah, in the back of your mind is like, okay, well, when's, where's that next acting project? So, I think it's usually about, for me anyway, right now, without having the representation and having an agent that you're constantly going on auditions, because I don't audition much. Like, I've had a handful of auditions this year. And auditions is a numbers game, you know, so the more you audition, the more likely you are to book something. And if you're not auditioning a whole lot, you're not, you know, so, um, so I've had to just kind of embrace the way it's happened for me so far. And the way it's happened is relationships, like really chance, strange, weird, awesome occurrences, you know, from Robot Chicken came through Friendster and Deadwood came from being a background and then the horror film I co-produced, uh, the director reached out to me on Facebook and Space Command now came from Mark's table list um, and Legendary is coming from another Facebook email. Um, so it's been very organic and I've had to just trust that that organicness will keep happening. I mean, of course, there's been times, not so much right now, but you know, I've got, you get your marketing tools in place, you know, you've got your business cards, you've got your postcards, you know, every couple, every three months or so, send down a postcard to that whole contact list, um, you know, not just some random postcard, think, you know, have something to say, like, hey, I just updated my website, or hey, have you checked out this episode, or hey, I booked this. Um, so postcards are the, like, less non-obtrusive way to keep yourself in front of somebody's face, because hey, it's sitting on their desk, and you know who knows? Maybe it just happened across their desk at the same time that a casting was happening. Um, for instance, uh, the group of actor friends that I talked about in the class rules group, we had started a commercial drops. So basically, during our downtime, we had team leads, and we had people, and we had a list, and we had organized, and we had a list of all the commercial casting directors in this town. We split it up into three areas: the Valley, Hollywood, and the West Side, and we assigned teams. So we collected gas money and your team went and tried to figure out like, hey, is this commercial office receptible to us just coming in and dropping off some headshots? Eight out of 10 of them were. Some of them, no access. You can't get in, it's gated, it's guarded, whatever, or bad energy, like, you know, you got a dirty look or something like that. But eight out of 10 of them have a little basket on their desk and you're like, hey, is it okay if I drop these headshots? but be walking out the door as you say it so they know that you're not trying to stay and have a conversation with them and eight out of ten of them are like yeah sure and so the one awesome story from that is um we had class later that night and we always shared good news was the first thing we did in class was share good news and so one of our friends one of the guys in class said i got a call right before i came for for an audition at such and such's office and i i don't think i've ever submitted to them and me and my partner looked at each other and we went, we dropped your headshot off there earlier today. And like the whole class was just like, <gasps> you know, so um, staying proactive, you know, I'm trusting that it's organic and that the right people will find me, but also staying proactive um, and having, you know, and blogging and, 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 and keeping that social media thing going. What I've been doing, um, like with Twitter, for instance, is... I'll go through or I'll find people or I'll see somebody retweet. Like just for instance, um, there was a, a gentleman, I just saw somebody retweet and he, you know, he's a director over at Fearnet um, and a few other horror magazines and, you know, and I love the horror genre. So I followed him. Well, then I saw him talking and here apparently he's from Philly. So I was like, hey, I'm from Philly too. And he responded. He's like, how you doing? You know, and like, and then he followed me, you know. And so it's, it's constantly reaching out to people who you feel aligned with in some way. And then organically and authentically clicking like on their things and communicating and talking to them and reaching out to them when you have a project that you think would line up with something that they're doing. Um, because then, you know, the next thing you know, they've got, you know, three projects away. They're like, oh wait, yeah, Leah, let's, you know. And so 
it's it's a really all about relationships like it really truly is and having you know having your tools ready and updating your stuff and you know I recently updated my hosting demo you know a lot of the stuff on there was was older and I had all the new stuff from the red carpets with D and people like that that I wanted to add because it had primarily been a rock and roll demo it was all rock and roll musicians which was fine by me but this past year I've gotten to interview a lot more actors and, and other people in the industry so I was like all right we gotta we gotta mix this in so that you know people can see this and go oh yeah she can stand on a stage and interview Ozzy Osbourne but she can also sit down and get dressed up and you know talk to Oprah or the fire chief, <laughs> or, the fire chief. Or, or get it get for the kid-friendly family environment and co-host with the fire chief yeah yeah so I think I think that's the answer in a nutshell is just continuing to build the relationships and continuing to work on on yourself you know whatever that may be you know whether it's you know um, through health and fitness and, and yoga classes or whether it's taking up a hobby and like getting like you said getting your mind away from the industry for a little bit go take a painting class or a pottery class or something cool like that put your hands in the dirt put your hands in the dirt <laughs>